Hey guys. Another car chronicles. Dropping kids off to school. So one year, one year after lockdown. One year after lockdown. So we all know we had corona. Well, corona's still going on. But we was in a major lockdown, quarantine. Only places we went was the supermarket and to the doctor or to like Walmart, you know, or Target, you know, to just get essentials. And only essential workers was able to work. We all know the whole fucking spiel. We don't want to remember this shit, but we gonna remember this shit for the rest of our life. One year after lockdown, now, human nature, the way God created <laughs> us. So the way God created us is to socialize, be around other humans, uh, you know, touch other humans, hug other humans, love on other humans. <clears throat> we thrive on other humans, right? So that's why they say people that are married live longer, people that are single die sooner. So we all need each other. But during quarantine, a lot of people were by themselves. No human touch, no human interaction, right? And that in itself is detrimental to humanity. Right, that's just detrimental, right, to humanity, right? So being that we were locked up, hopeless, a lot of people, depressed, anxious, alone, lonely, during lockdown, all we had was time to think. All we had was time to scroll on social media. All we had was time was to watch others, right, through the cell phone. Now, I'm not saying everybody was depressed. I'm not saying that everybody was anxious. I'm not saying, but we all had some type of feelings, right? We all was in fear and anxious, anxiety, everybody. I mean, I suffered, you know, everybody, depression, everybody had all these different feelings, right? So it was one year later, literally one year later. And the world decides, or you know, the government decides, oh, let's open up now. We done, you know, lock niggas up for a year. So when you lock a person up, think about in solitary confinement. That's why Obama put in the law that people can't be in solitary confinement if you're a juvenile because it fucks up your head. So when you're locked down, of course, you can't do the things that you used to doing. And remember, a lot of people are also mad, you know, still depressed, still anxious, still have anxiety, still stressed out one year later. So this is one year after the pandemic so, one year after lockdown, all the people that were locked up, just like me, I'm ready to go everywhere. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm ready to go everywhere, right? I done went to Cancun. I went to Miami like three times. I done went uh, uh, to Pennsylvania. I'm going back to Cancun. I'm going back to Miami. Going to Jamaica. Like, I'm trying to go every fucking where. Hence, what happened in Miami? What happened in California, right? People are wilding the fuck out. You know? That's like, you know, you lock people up in solitary confinement. When they get out, they wilding the fuck out. Same thing. Miami is just a taste of what's going to be happening this summer. Remember, the world's opening back up. Things are opening back up. Restaurants are opening back up. Movie theaters open opening back up. Malls and all that shit is opening back up. So people have all this bold up energy 
<laughs> People have all this bold up energy. Are we out now? Bitch is about to be a movie. Are we out now? Oh, bitch is about to be a motherfucking movie. Yeah, Miami right now is a movie. They got 8 o'clock curfew for 72 hours. People shooting, busting their gun. And I'm not saying they shooting to kill, because some people like just busting their gun in the air and seeing people scatter. California, <laughs> same thing, niggas wilding out. I went out for, for, for Jennifer's birthday um, with this weekend, and niggas was fighting in there. So this is happening across America. It's just not being televised like Miami is, right? And then my cousin said she went, and she's in North Carolina. No, she's in Atlanta. She went to Atlanta, and she said it was a brawl of niggas just fighting in the street. The fuck? Listen. That's why the government's hiring more cops. Okay? America's about to be a movie. Okay? <laughs> this summer is going to be the worst summer. Everybody's out. Everybody got their balled up energy. People still depressed. People still stress, anxiety, all that. People going to be out. <laughs> People going to be out wilding the fuck out. So you better be careful. People going to be shooting their guns more, right? Because during COVID, during the whole pandemic, crime was actually down. So don't listen to the media and say, oh, crime was up. No, they lying. Crime was down. Now that the world's opening up, crime is going to be up. Right? More and more crime is going to be up. So you got to be careful. That's why you have you a gun, got you your pepper spray, you got your mace, you got, you know, your knives and your, you know, your protection for yourself. Right? So one year after lockdown, guys, Americans is about to go crazy. We ain't never stayed in the house for a whole year like that. I'm ready to go anywhere. Let any of my, any one of my friends say, let's go here, I'm out. I'm booking flights. I'm out of here, right? Because I was even sick of being in the house. Even though I work from home, I'm never home. <laughs> Believe it or not. So one year after lockdown, guys, guess what? People got bold up energy. Niggas is ready to wow out. So, and you're, you know, opening up in the world and going out. Now, there's some people who literally ain't coming back out. Like, some people ain't coming back out at all. Like, they're like, hell no. I don't give a fuck if the world's opening up. COVID is still real. I ain't going out. I ain't going nowhere. Right? I took my daughter to the doctor yesterday. She was like, oh, you brave to go to Mexico. Girl, bye. Shit. I'm sick of being in a house. <laughs> Humans don't supposed to be locked up like motherfucking animals. <laughs> so there's some people that's staying in the house. They ain't coming out. But majority of people, they coming out. <laughs> majority of Americans, they coming out. <laughs> Especially millennials. You're under 40 years old, you ready to turn up. You ready to go on ski trips. You ready to go to Miami. You ready to go to Cali. You ready to go everywhere. So when you guys go out, be careful. All right? Because remember, all this extra bold up energy is now going to come out this summer. It's going to come out this summer. And you guys got to be prepared. There's going to be more cops on the street. You guys got to be prepared for this. And just know, you know, we're humans, right? And we all need each other. If you can help somebody, and if you see somebody getting crazy and wilding out, if you can help them, help them. You know, my friend tried to help the girl that was fighting in the restaurant. But, you know, some people are so far gone, you can't help them. You can't bring them back to reality. You know, but just be careful, guys. Be careful. Now's the time to be safe. They talk about be safe in COVID. No, now's the time. Your ass better be safe. <laughs> because people are coming out with all this bold up energy. They're going to be wilding out. You got to be careful, right? Don't let your kids do certain things because you don't know what's going to happen. Clubs are opening back up. So people are going to flood the clubs. They're going to flood the, the lounges. They're going to flood the restaurant they're gonna flood the movie theaters they're gonna flood the malls even the restaurant i went to on sunday it's crowded <laughs> you know one year after the pandemic man 
and a lot of people still don't have jobs. Over 70 million people still ain't got jobs. Huh. Yeah, America's about to be a movie. Literally. America is about to be a movie. Literally. So, be careful. Be safe, for real. Carry your gun or... You know, your mace or your pricks or your knives, whatever you need to protect yourself. Be safe because a mask don't protect shit. <laughs> Somebody got a gun to your motherfucking head. <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> Put your mask on? <laughs> Take your mask off? Nah, nigga, I need some protection. So be safe out there, guys. One year later after the pandemic, and it's definitely about to get worse. Oh, and they're coming up with another stimulus. So for all you guys that's getting the stimulus money, invest that money, right? This is the third stimulus we're on. We're about to be on the fourth stimulus. Um, hey, we may be on the fifth stimulus too. Biden may be wanting to get us on the uh, fifth stimulus because I think in Canada, they already started giving their citizens 2,000 a month, which of course, a lot of people love that. But when you want government welfare, like I told my students, when you're on government welfare, you got to follow government rules. People want $2,000, they're going to want you to get the vaccine. You can't go here. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't travel here. You can't. I mean, I don't really want no government assistance, for real. And the stimulus is government assistance. Remember that. <laughs> so we're on the third stimulus. They they in, they talking about fourth stimulus. You know, and if they talk about a fourth stimulus, then the fifth stimulus Come on, bro. I hate when people drive like this. You see me trying to come over, you're going to speed up and then slow down. Get your mind right, bro. So invest your money, guys. Don't be caught the last man standing. Don't be caught the last man standing. Don't be caught as the last man standing. Protect you, protect your family. And the time is down, friends. <laughs> All this money flowing, baby. And you ain't got none. That's just a mindset thing. Because the government printing trillions a day. <laughs> just a mindset thing if you ain't got no bread, baby. So happy whatever today is. Enjoy your day. Remember, today is my day. And if you haven't watched any of my success chronicles, make sure you watch on my Instagram and my YouTube on me interviewing, you know, women in their field, you know, that's having success in their field. Follow me on Instagram, Onesie Queens and Coach Tanisha Marie. I'll see you guys in class.